Hello and welcome to another episode of Shampoo and Booze. This is episode number 84 at shampooandbooze.com. We are on YouTube. Also, youtube.com slash shampooandbooze. You can email us your Airbnb. I'm currently sitting in one of my Airbnbs. So you should send us yours so we can talk about it. Shampooandbooze at gmail.com. You can see our Design Advice Services, notperf.com. If you want to talk to us about design and not have it be a completely public video for the entire world to see, you can do that too, though. That's fine. Today, we have an amazing property, a super cute property. It's in the UK. I believe this is our first international property on video. On video. So it's very exciting. We are seeing another country how another country does airbnb and apparently it's adorable (laughs) it's so cute so let's check it out look at this property it is an old chapel that's what it says right yeah i'm basically dying 100 deaths it's so cute uh i i like the title so ebenezer chapel that must be what it was called in the past a unique boutique stay i think that's cute I think it's great. Good title. Also, amazing first picture. I kind of want to just see the front door, like the whole thing, but I feel like you're trying to get the window in there. I think it's great. I love it. I also think I realize that this is probably a new renovation that you're just getting up, and we'll see some evidence of that, but in the springtime, it looks like you have a little garden bed in the front and you have a little sitting area on the side and you have some green because the UK can be green even in the winter. But it would be awesome to have another photo where you're like flowers and you have like little vines and that would be an incredible photo to retake in the springtime. Also just kind of looking at this spread. So right now the first few photos we're seeing are the whole building, the front door, a quick bathroom shot, maybe a bathroom and a half shot, but we'll get to that and the kitchen. I think one of the things we often say is we would love to see a bed photo or a bedroom photo as one of these first photos. And I think that's the case here too. Yeah, I think you can switch one of those out. Probably the the half bath bathtub photo for um, for a bed. It's funny, Airbnb really crops this photo on that front because I see a lot more plants and things and a a little more of that sitting area. So again, we can see down in the caption, original steel windows dating back to 1864. That's why you took this picture because you're like, check these windows out. And then you say the decking area will be complete in the spring, like right now, basically. So which honestly, I don't feel like is necessary to say. It's yeah. I, I sort of feel like you're saying it because you know it needs some help or some love, but it doesn't necessarily catch my eye until you point it out. <laughs> it looks okay. And yeah. so once it's done and once you have like pl- plants in the front and stuff, I think you could take this photo again and just replace it. You, you don't have to say anything like that. I, it, we'll see a couple of things like that, that it's like, don't say it, just do it. Um, so that'll be a theme here. So this is, this is a funny, this is a funny photo to me. Um, as an American, (laughs) we're not used to like, I mean, we have bathtubs, right? But I think people in the UK are like, yeah, it's a bathtub. You take a bath. And Americans are like, no, baths are things that you do like for extra. (laughs) Like we just take showers. So it's funny to see like there's a bath out in the open. Yeah, like it's definitely feels like a strange detail. Um, That being said, I think there are ways for you to sell it or show it so that it doesn't feel kind of uh, like an afterthought. Um, But I think this being your second photo isn't very strong. It's also a strange photo because it's interesting because you're showing like the high ceilings, you're showing some cool artwork, you're showing that there's a tub, but like we always say, there's not enough information here. We see a door, I'm seeing part of a rug, like I'm not seeing a good angle of this. And there's another photo later that's a better angle. But you are thinking about the gallery. 
I can tell that he's thinking about the gallery in the order we're seeing things. So that's a good thing. Okay, so this door is beautiful. I think it needs, it looks like a little dry. It looks like a Dutch door. So it looks like you can open the top. It's kind of an old fashioned. I wonder if it's an original door, I'm not sure. It looks like it needs a little bit more oil on the bottom um, or polyurethane or whatever you use. Um, but you do say check in via the keypad on the door frame. So I believe it's an August lock because I recognize that <laughs> keypad because I have one. Um, and that's great. This is a this is a beautiful photo. It's got information that we need. So this is this is a good photo. So the first thing that we noticed with this picture, first of all, great lighting. Um, I feel like you chose a great time of day to take it so that the windows weren't blown out. Um, it looks like a very functional, beautiful kitchen. The first thing that caught our eye was that it says happy birthday on the wall, which is like very festive but feels a little bit random or maybe you were trying to get some kind of like color into the space to take the picture i would say take it take it down and, and just take it straight or get some artwork take the picture when you have some artwork up yeah it feels very specific it feels like something happened there like someone actually had a birthday party or you guys had a birthday party for a friend or whatever and it's still there uh, it's kind of like when we see like Christmas photos in Airbnbs where you're like, okay, well, whatever was happening when you took this photo is not now happening. Um, so you want it to be a little more generic. And I, that wall is perfect for some artwork, like you're saying, or a big mirror that goes across or something like that. Um, I also think because uh, this is a new renovation and they're floor is tile, you might want to have a little bit of a rug or something to, to help define the space and give it more color. Like your mugs are colorful, you're trying to get a little more color beyond the white and the beige and the brown of the elements, the building elements. So I think uh, a round rug or even a, just an area rug that would help. Not that you want to vacuum underneath a dining room table, but Literally every dining room table I have has a rug underneath it because it just kind of defines that space and gives it some warmth and some color. I think another option is if you got um, like a seven to nine foot runner and put it in front of the kitchen uh, counter space um, because usually people are walking the most around the kitchen counters and so just having like a strip of something beautiful and modern and clean, that could be a really nice option too. The other thing I wanted to mention is we always say your descriptions should really give as much information as possible since this might be the only thing that people read. Right. <laughs> um, Ryan. Although in Ryan's case, she oh, I'm not even going to read the captions. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so uh, like, of course, this table sits for people. Like, I kind of know that just looking at it. But right. what else do you want to tell me about this kitchen? Like, I kind of see, I think that's an on-demand hot water heater. I think that's what that is. I think so too. Um, it's great to know what that is, maybe, or maybe you say, you know, fully stocked kitchen. Like, I don't see a coffee maker, which we're big on. I don't see, you know, other kind of accoutrement, although we know you just set this Airbnb up. But tell us what amenities will be available, even if we can't see them. The other thing is, this is a brand new kitchen. Like I can tell you just renovated this space. So tell us that, like you need to show that off. This is a brand new, I mean, it won't be brand new in a few years, but it's not 15 years old, you know? Okay, so again, this order is funny because, well, no, this is the fifth, yeah, this is the fifth photo. So it's still the gallery. So we're in kind of a weird order, um, but this is part of the bathroom. So part of the conversation we were having when we were looking at this, we were like, there's a bathtub in the hallway. And then there's a toilet and sink that we think is in a room that the door closes. It would be weird if it wasn't, if there's a toilet without a room with a door. So I'm assuming that this is like the bathroom and the tub, and there's no shower. And there's a tub in the hallway that has like a little shower handle thing. That's my guess. But I'm from the US, so tell me if I'm wrong. Help us out here. And there's no caption here. You didn't write anything here, so. 
again, this looks like a brand new renovation. It looks like you put a mirror in the wall and tiled around it. I've never seen that before. And that must have taken a lot of work. Like you designed this. I love the tile. Um, it feels very rustic and old, even though it looks brand new. I love that. I think it's weird that you have toothpaste available. Maybe that's just for the picture to like make it feel a little bit something. But I, as a renter, I don't necessarily want an entire thing of tooth toothpaste available. That someone um, else used before you with their toothbrush on the thing. It's yeah. like bar soap. We were just at an air, the Airbnb we were at in Vermont. They just had bar soap, um, which is weird because you're like, someone uses before me on their body. <laughs> like, I'm glad I brought my own soap, but it's a similar thing. I mean, this might just be for the photo, but also you're like, are you going to give people toothpaste? Because you don't need to, probably. This photo should be much earlier, right? This should be like photo two. Look at how beautiful this space is with those windows. I'm moving in. So something you say in the caption here is artwork coming soon. Number one, put the artwork up. Do it <laughs> now. Also, I have to say, this is one of those rare moments. So wait for it. <laughs> this is one of those rare moments where I would say, this room doesn't need artwork. Like, okay. it's gorgeous. Right. It's stunning. Windows. I would say put a green plant a large green plant somewhere and call it a day like it's amazing if you didn't say artwork coming soon you I wouldn't would say about it. this is so like tastefully put together I see that you have kind of an art light fixture above the um couch so maybe you have something planned already to go there which is totally fine but I would say unless it's something like completely over the top amazing I'd say this space doesn't necessarily need it the other thing I do want to say about this space is the level of beige so the tile is is a light brown beige the carpet is also that color and the the love seat slash sofa is the same color. So the way you can change that is putting a rug that's maybe a cream um, so that you keep that kind of neutral palette um, and the softness and the brightness of that room. Uh, or you put a really colorful rug there, like a, like a vintage Persian rug that's like maroon or something, you know, like a rich color to to offset the the walls you know it's like brand new walls lots of sunlight coming in the only color you have is the basically the red on the pillows and a rug would i mean that room would be insane if you had a vintage you know hand knotted rug in there with some reds or something so this is another angle of that room that room is great the couch looks a lot bigger in this photo, actually. Oh, I did want to mention these photos. These photos look like they're professionally taken. Um, the lighting is great. The angles are great. Um, I feel like there's just enough, like this one has just enough ceiling and just enough floor. Like, it, I feel like you're some kind of visual artist that understands that. <laughs> that, that comes across to me in your photos. Yeah, I love, love, love this picture uh, with the other one. I mean, there's something to say, even though there's a lot of beige here, I feel like there's something to say about choosing this style, right? Like with the, even with like the black window panes and even strangely with like black TV and the pillows, like there's actually something that feels very intentional here about the space because I actually feel like there's something so um, polished about this space, even though it feels monochromatic, the monochromaticness feels purposeful. It feels intentional. Um, the only thing I do want to say, so there's a TV there, which is mounted on the wall, which I think is great. It looks nice and clean. That bench is kind of funny to me because there's no way someone's going to sit on that bench and watch TV. Um, so... I don't know if you turn it towards the wall on the left so that if you're not watching TV, someone could sit on there and talk to someone on the couch. Um, I just think the placement of that is weird. And I don't know if it's because the, the photo 
looks weird at this angle, but I feel like that is in front of the TV and it could get like turned this way for more practical use. Yeah, I totally agree. Like it might just be a photo decision. Um, it looks like a gorgeous bench. Part of me wants you to put it upstairs with the weird tub situation, but yeah. Um, I, I think as with a lot of these photos, as Ryan and I were looking through this, we were having a hard time placing where each thing is. So I'm like, is this a living room outside of a bedroom? You know, is this like partially the bedroom space? Is this just a living room off the kitchen? Like, I don't really have a sense of, this chapel seems tiny, <laughs> but the fact that we're having a hard time placing where each thing is, it would be great to have some kind of layout to reference. And that bench being there sort of highlights the like, is this a bedroom furniture? Is this a, what do you want people to do with that bench? Okay, so this is outside. Um, because this is not part of like the first five gallery photos, I feel like this should come a little bit later only because we haven't seen the bed. We haven't seen the bedroom yet, right? Mm -mm. So we're still like, we want that inside. We want to get to know the inside. Um, this I think should be towards the end, especially if you're going to take photos in the springtime with like gardening stuff. Yeah, I agree. I love that you use the word Hamlet. Uh, forever we'll be using that word from now on. <laughs> And we promised ourselves we would not do a British accent <laughs> to, to do this thing. But we don't, we don't want to embarrass really ourselves. Hard not to with words like I really want to. I really want to. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the bedroom. I'm assuming it's upstairs. It looks like an upstairs ceiling situation. Again, you know what I'm going to say. There's a lot of beige happening here. Yes. Uh, I feel like there is room for artwork. Yes. I also feel this looks super comfy. Like it looks so cozy and comfy and that bed looks, I want to, I want to go. Yes. I want to stay here. You have a dresser. The lighting fixture. I know this is a low ceiling. I've been in, you know, Airbnbs like this where you're like, okay, this is like basically a loft bedroom. It's not like a stand up and like walk around. Um, I feel like the lighting fixture could be a really short chandelier. And that sounds odd when you're like, it's really probably a short ceiling, but I feel like you need something else there. It looks like a bare bulb, um, which can be a look, but I don't think it's the look of this chapel. Yeah, I agree. The lighting feels very limited in this very cozy space. I also, I'm not sure if we have another picture of the bed, do we? Aha. I was going to say, uh, curious what's happening with the bedside tables, because mm -hmm. that's another place where some lighting, some like elegant lighting could happen. Um, and it looks like it, it might need that. And it could just be like easy to install sconces on either side. We're a big fan of you know, lighting, down lighting or something on the side of beds that doesn't necessarily require a bedside stand. And it looks like because you have such a limited ceiling height, that might be a good option for here. Yeah, it's like, I'm not a fan of, of like chandeliers. I don't think I've ever recommended to anyone to have a chandelier, but it's like, I want a little bit of style in that room. Like you have a cool window, you have a super comfy bed, you have an interesting shaped ceiling with a beam. It looks very cozy. And I want like a little touch of design in this room. And like you're saying, sconces or, or interesting lamps on the bedside tables would help with that. But when I see this, I just think of like a, a bare bulb of an attic. You're like, we're in the attic. It's too minimal. I also, I mean, it's too late for this, but I'm going to say it anyways. <laughs> I almost want the bed, the head of the bed to be against that window. And the reason why I'm saying it's too late is it looks like there's a, there's a wall heater there. So I feel like in terms of heating the space, that wouldn't work. And potentially because of, I haven't actually been in this space, it might not work space-wise to have the bed going that way. But there's part of me that feels like the bed being kind of tucked under the eave feels a little bit cramped, um, but it, it seems like that might be the only option for this bed. Okay, 
yeah now that you said that i'm like well what if you had a bed that wasn't as high off the ground like this doesn't look like a very high bed but if you could do a bed that was basically on the ground like a platform bed a with platform. a very small headboard and push it away from the heater like it's a radiator so it's not kind of like yes you know it's it's Catch it's fire. not yeah right so so if you're out a little bit the heat is coming out and you can prop the pillows on a little headboard um it's almost like a i don't know like an asian style platform bed that's on the because this is a low ceiling anyway turn it that would be an amazing composition right there with the window behind the bed is there you can stand up and you have more headroom on that ceiling and yeah. i think potentially you know because we haven't been in this space it could be that if the it's a king size bed you say in your description which i love it could be that because it's a king when you get up out of bed you know the ceiling is like this so it could just yeah. be that it doesn't work for that space i'm sure yeah. you tried it all sorts of ways but anyway these are just some thoughts that we have looking at your pictures yes okay another angle of the kitchen this should be with the other kitchen photo i think you need two kitchen photos and it yep. was that one with the banner and then this this one this is a great photo you have a big kitchen it's a it looks it, big for the size of that it seems this chapel is this kitchen is like amazingly massive uh i like so you said in this one fully equipped kitchen oven hob dishwasher and fridge what is a hob i thought the hob was the fridge oven hob dishwasher and fridge is that the stove top I have no oh, idea what, what a hob is. is. We are so American right now. Like, We're like, a, a hob hobbit? I, I <laughs> this chapel know. comes with a hobbit. I don't know what a hob is. I can't wait to find out what it is. Oven, hob. I think a hob is a stovetop. <laughs> so I can't tell if everything that's sort of mashed together to the left of the That's the stove. conversation is just you just like put stuff there because you were trying to get it out of the counter or something or if it's the coffee station i see a coffee or i see a hot water maker yes see. um i would love to see the co like i would love to see your beverage station as an actual beverage station and not up. just like stuck in this corner you have so much counter space um you know just yeah i see two things plugged in it's probably mm -hmm. your kettle Mm -hmm. and then a maybe a toaster is that what a hob is <laughs> um maybe if that is a toaster it could go on another plug like i see a plug on the right um just to spread that out a little bit i know plug like i have a an old brick house where like we were tripping the breaker all the time because the coffee machine dishwasher and the kettle were on one and people were like oh we tripped it so i'm like i gotta move the kettle somewhere else it's got to be on its own circuit so maybe these are special circuits for like heating toaster kettle things but maybe one of them can move because like you said it's there's counter space there's enough counter space that you could move it also as a person who's run airbnbs as well as rental properties i know that people are going to wash their dishes and either put them in the dishwasher or they're gonna put them in your little dish caddy that you've got there and they're gonna get water all over your gorgeous wood counters. So I would say somehow prepare yourself for that, whether it's like putting some other kind of mat down. But what I was gonna say about the coffee station is maybe the dishwasher or the dish uh, drain is actually to the left of the sink. Mm. And then you make a coffee station on the right side of the sink because you have all your mugs hanging right up there. there. So maybe that's the like tea coffee area. And then over there to the left of your stove is, is more cooking implements. Um, it just depends on where his plugs are. Yes, right. Like if it's an electric kettle, which it is like, um, you gotta make sure there's plugs over there. But yeah, I like that idea of like, here's the wet area yes <laughs> it's next right. to the sink right okay you do have a chandelier 
<laughs> just like I was saying, maybe that's what influenced me. But um, this is this is a better photo of the tub. I feel like that really short, tiny photo was unnecessary. We see the artwork, we see the ceiling, we see the um, windows, we see a funky, cool chandelier, and we see the tub. Now, as Americans, we think taking a bath is like an extra special thing. I think, right? Am I wrong? Yeah. No, totally. We take showers. Yeah. So for us to see this, there's a bathtub out in the open, which is fine if you're with your partner uh, or husband or wife or whatever. But if I were staying here with a friend, I don't know if that, I mean, maybe you're just a romantic bungalow type thing, but this is an interesting situation where there's not much privacy and you're naked. <laughs> yeah. So that, I mean, maybe that's a thing, but it feels a little bit confusing. I also feel like, you know, you put a mat out and it looks like some like shower accoutrement to like sort of make it feel like, oh, this is a thing you can use. I don't think you need to, I mean, the bath mat's great, but you don't need to put like soap on the floor. Like that feels over the top. And I sort of feel like you need some furniture around you need a bench or something that right. people can put stuff on. Hooks. You need please put maybe hooks a for towels. hooks. Absolutely, maybe a privacy screen because it's like taking a bath kind of out in the open is like a little bit I don't know special. I like the idea of a privacy screen um, because it looks like to the left it's a little bit private, but if it, I mean I'm assuming this overlooks some other piece of furniture down below. So if someone's hanging out on their laptop and you're taking a bath, maybe have a privacy screen that can be folded out. Maybe it's not always there because maybe you don't always need it. Maybe I'm staying there alone. But if I'm like, okay, I'm getting dressed and I'm like having a nice bath and I want alone time, <laughs> unfold the privacy screen or something. Okay, so this must be a bathroom that the door can shut. I. Bet it's next to the bathtub upstairs. But a layout drawing would be super helpful. Yeah, I think that's just the long and short of it. Like, we just need a layout and that's all. Yeah, I like your lights. They look like cool, industrial, but not too steampunky. Um, I like that choice. I think it looks nice. It looks clean. It looks modern. You guys did a lot of work, I can tell. If you renovated this, which it sounds like you did, you did an amazing job. Okay, this is the last photo. 14 photos. That's a good amount. I mean, we've seen people who have 30, 40, 50 photos. 14 photos, you know, I, that's a that's I think a good it's amount. amazing. Yeah, I feel like you didn't do any of the like little tiny vignettes of things. I kind of would love to see like another picture or two of your area maybe. Yeah. Um, a a layout plan would be super helpful but i feel like i would stay here in a heartbeat I don't oh even have for to sure it. it looks so comfy and cozy and cute and you know your backyard it it sounds like it's on the property with you i think that's what he said in his email so um maybe you say a little bit about that or show okay here's the chapel here's our property do you have pets are we going to see pets in the yard um, and if it is in a hamlet, I looked up the address area, the, the town, and you're about two hours from London, which to me, a two hour from a major city, and of course there are other cities close by too, that is an amazing place for people to get away on the weekends. You know, just take the train up if you can, or drive, take a bus, whatever. Uh, it sounds like a really cool location. I mean, I think overall, uh, this is a great spot. I think you're, you took, the lighting is great. You clearly did a lot of work on this little chapel boutique stay. People can see that. I think people are gonna really love this place. It's cute, it's cozy. It, you did a good job on the renovation. That's amazing. I think there are just a couple little things that you can do just to bring it up just a little bit. 
Thanks for watching. We loved looking at that Airbnb. Please send us your listings at shampooandbooze at gmail.com. You can also send us comments. Tell us what you think at youtube.com slash shampooandbooze. Also check out our design services at notperf.com and we're happy to look at anyone's property and give you advice and work with you individually. So tell us what you think, send us your listings and see you next time. Bye. Bye.